All right, let's continue. Do open up these two files, Echo Client and Echo Server. These two programs are similar to the ones we have taken a look at uh, in our previous video, but the only difference is I kept all the client server stream communication part inside a while loop. This while loop is going to go forever until it hits the message end, which the user will enter. Same is the case with server program. It's going to communicate with the client until client sends the message end. Let's see how it works. Let's run the server program first. The program is running. And let's run the client. We're going to enter something. And we get the exact same message I code from the server. It's going to happen forever. Let's say end. This is going to end both the programs, client as well as the server. So why, why don't we make this program a little more interesting? Why don't we let the client enter a number and on the server side, we're going to check to see if the number is prime or not. In fact, uh, you must have figured that out because I've already, I forgot to remove this uh, statement from here. Anyway, let's uh, see how it works. For that, do open these two files, client and server. On the server program, we pretty much have the same program what we have here. Apart from that, I introduced a new class file, server app, that's just simply going to have a method called serve, and it has all the instructions to communicate with the client. The streams, we're going to take the input from the client, uh, this is going to be the client message, which will check to see if it's prime or not. We have a special method introduced for that purpose. It's going to return a boolean value, and based on that boolean value, true or false, we're going to say whether the number is prime or not. And we're going to send back uh, the message to the client. That's what we have in here, pretty simple and straightforward. So why don't we just run this program? Let's run it. Server is started. And from the client end, let's run it. I'm going to enter some values, say five is prime, four is not prime, and I'm going to end the conversation. This will end the client program, but not the server program because we have a while loop that goes forever. So we need to explicitly stop it, uh, like so. So, well and good, but why don't we experiment something here? Instead of letting the server talk to just one client, what if there were more than one client? Is our program designed to handle that? Let's see. Let's run our uh, server program once again, but this time, I'm going to run our client program from Windows Command Processor because Eclipse doesn't allow us to have multiple instances of this console. So let's open these two. I'm just running the client program from here. I'm going to enter some value, five, pretty well and good. And from the another client program, let's run it. This is going to show us the prompt. But if I enter a value, the server is not going to serve anything because it's busy serving other client. Let's end this process. Uh, let's say end. The moment I say end, this will end the conversation with this particular client. Now server is ready to serve this client and so we got this output. 5, yes, everything works well. Let's end it. So what's going wrong here? In real time, server was supposed to deal with multiple clients. So we need to do something with our code, with our server code, to handle multiple clients. And that's what we're going to talk about in our next video.